Hi Libra, this is Jess with your January 13, 2020 uh, weekly reading. If you guys are having an enjoyable day so far, so Libra. Uh, yeah, so um, I got confused there a little bit. But guys, um, if you're interested in the extended portion of this love read, click the link in the description box below. It gives all of what we focus on, not just for this week, but we look months in advance. So if you're interested in that, you singles and couple Libras, after listening to the to the love reading today, uh, click that link in the description box below. Now, Libras, well, it looks like life is happening kind of fast, at least in the career sector for some of you. Things are happening uh, really quick. Um, a lot of developments are kind of happening around you. And I feel like it's kind of all for the greater good. Whatever is going on in your life right now, good, bad, or indifferent, it really is for the greater good. It, it really is to kind of recalibrate and settle things in your life, right? Um, some of you could be, I feel like you're very practical in your way of thinking and approaching the situation. You're trying to be, you're really focusing on your money. For some of you, you've been so focused on career and money aspects and stabilizing yourself or evolving Um increasing your finances, let's just say, but you're not feeling so confident or you're not feeling so like happy physically. Something about your physical appearance for some of you may be a little bit challenged. Um, hopefully none of you have recently gotten any type of surgery or work done because you may not particularly like the results completely. Um, despite what others are saying to you, you may have felt like, oh, it was gonna, it's going to be great. And now it's like you're not really too sure. And you may be even thinking about going someplace else uh, and getting it fixed or, you know, getting a second opinion. So, yeah, hopefully that gets better for you because, you know, the, the, the unfortunate part about those things is once you take that gamble, you can't reverse it, unfortunately. Um, a lot of times you can't go back and change it. So for some of you, it's not that severe. It's just, you may feel like you're a bit overweight. You're a little out of sorts. You're not yourself, right? You don't feel as comfortable about yourself, you know, body conscious, or just not as confident about where you're at in your life. And you kind of don't know exactly what it is or how to get there. Um, some of you, it's just an actual loss that you're experiencing right now. And that is what is kind of plaguing you, a loss. Now, some of you may just have a parent separation anxiety, your child left or someone that's very significant to you has left or will be leaving and it's and you're you're missing them. So you could be missing your child. You could be missing someone very close to you. And it's very difficult, as I said, to um, kind of focus or get or feel like yourself, feel like your normal self. Home life, though, looks really good, especially if you work from home. It looks like you're really um, seeing a heavy increase with your finances. Some of you are getting a lot, like if you do contractual work from home, and it would be great for you to do that, like, right, like you, you, um, you consult people and or you, you're a middleman, that type of thing is kind of what I'm getting, Um Anything from home, you do home business or you manage things for people, that sort of thing. You may get a lot of contracts in right now. A lot of contracts will be coming in now and probably up and through um, until we get into airy season where things just kind of may die down then. Um, but or Aquarius season. So you may have another six weeks or something like that before things kind of die down. But it looks really good for you, especially if you have your home based business. Some of you, again, it's, I'm getting beating out the competition like other people aren't a match. There's something about the way that you communicate, the way that you kind of are able to persuade others or charm others or relate to other people, which is unmatched from everyone else. So this would be a great time to look for work, look for opportunities, because you you know, you have a leg up on other people. Just try to overcome the mental stigma of lack of confidence. And by all means, try to come from the most highest of integral fiber that you can. Uh, don't try to cut corners or not be honest or ethical because you're going to get caught. And if you are to be caught, 
there will be no mercy spared on you. So please keep that in mind. And I know a lot of people usually do come from an ethical place, but I see it. So I'm going to say it for those who may need to hear it. Again, home life looks really good. Some of you could be spending a lot of time with your children. Children are going to really, I feel, be a lot of love and comfort. And you may even notice that your kids are being nicer to one another. Like, what the hell? Because <laughs> sibling rivalry is real. <laughs> so you may find that your, your children are nicer to one another. There can be like a, a um, events or parties and gift giving and um, I just see a lot of events or gift giving or going to like birthday parties and parties in school or, you know, over the weekend going to um, events and, and affairs and that sort of thing and really having a great time. Your children kind of being really happy, your home life being great or beautifying your home for some of you who children aren't involved, just really making your house look great. So when people come in, it's like, wow, this is amazing. Like, you, I love what you've done to the place and just doing more of the same is what it looks like, making things look just perfect and just right. Some of you with the Seven of Swords energy, you could very well be finding the perfect deal. Uh, and you just have an eye and flair and you are able to get online and find the absolute right deal at the right time. And then you jump on it, right? Try to jump on it because there's great opportunities to do so. But some of you may be in your head. Some of you may be second guessing a situation and you may lose out on great deals and steals and bargains and that sort of thing because you're preoccupied with, um, again, second-guessing the situation. So other than that, it looks amazing. I do see that there may be a female here. It could be Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. It doesn't have to be, uh, but there is someone here who you may communicate to quite often that you can rely on and trust. This could be your physical mother, right? Um that you are, you can rely on, you can trust this woman, but there is a departing here, right? There is something, something you're departing from or someone's departing from you. It's no longer, it will not be the same anymore. Something isn't going to be the same anymore. It's already happening or it's about to happen. And I feel either you're going through the residual energies of like, okay, this is our new normal or some of you will be, right? going through that and, and and if that is the case like okay I have to leave home or you know my mom's moving away something in that respect or it could be another female that sort of thing um there is something that you're it's kind of hard for you to digest and accept if that makes any sense now you're okay I mean the person is okay I don't feel like people themselves are in a bad place but that could change obviously right but I feel like there's just a, a missing someone and probably feeling like your hands are tied there's really nothing you could do about it about the way that things have turned out that's kind of keep what I get keep what I get that's what I keep getting excuse me is that you're not so happy about the way things have turned out. Now, some of you could just very well be under the weather, right? You're coming out of it slowly, but surely it's like a crawl, but you're feeling much better than you have in the past. Um, and in the midst of you not being well or under the weather, you may have missed out on something. No sense of crying over spilled milk, okay? Major decision, major opportunity could very well be coming your way. You may not know how to handle it. I just keep getting for you guys this week, Libras. Um, something could come to you that is like, I'm not going to say it's a once in a lifetime, but it's major. But in your haste of not trusting it, not knowing all the details, not really being sure, even though this may have been something that you want or you have wanted, or you feel a strong connection to, it may just, just like that disappear. It may slip right out of your hands. Uh, and I'm not going to say, oh, it's because you waited too long. No, it probably just wasn't meant, you know, and, and hell, things do circle back around. So don't look at it as, as too, don't, don't dwell on the lost opportunity too much. Okay. Some of you may see it as that, like a lost, lost opportunity. Don't see it as that because whatever is not, whatever you don't have or whatever just left you out of the blue, it, it had to happen. Okay. Remember I said that. Uh, so with that, let's go, because your reading is kind of fairly clear. Um, money looks good. 
Again, a lot of things going on in the work sector, but there's some losses. It could be people around you at the workplace that may have gotten laid off or, you know, some changes are being made. Um, I feel like you guys will be saved, but, you know, it, it could change because there's something about changing on a dime. Uranus is now up and awake and coming out to play. So with that, people's lives are going to get shaken up. And for some of you, as I've been telling other signs, the following week is when it's time to play. Right? Or the end of this week is when you thought it was going to be this way. And it's like, wow, now something just changes on the dime. It's kind of what I get. Now, when it comes to relationships, your love sector, well, Libra, you guys have, um, you, you guys that are single, you're definitely getting to know someone. Okay. For some of you, you're getting to know someone. Others of you, there's great opportunity to do that. But you have to put yourself out there. Uh, for some of you, again, you may not be feeling so like, like I said, so confident. Some of you Libra men, you could be attracting two different kind of women, women who lack a sense of confidence and women who are, you know, overly interested in the bottom line with their finances or what they have could be a bit shallow um, or all about the money. Some of you, again, if you're seeing someone, it could be, you know, heavily like you, you get along, you, you definitely have a connection with this person. Um, and there's an opportunity to kind of take, you know, invest in this relationship and allow it to grow. I do feel like both of you, however, are on different wavelengths. And what I mean is you both are, you know, focused on your money and you're both will put the work in and, and time and effort to make money and increase your money and that sort of thing. But it's almost like two ships passing in the night, simply because the two of you may still be suffering from past hurts and pains that neither of you have gotten over. Okay. And I feel like this person is a little bit more deep rooted in and more affixed to their um, new way of living than you are. I feel you're a little bit more malleable. I feel like you will bend and compromise a little bit more than this person will for you single Libras who are now dating someone or opening yourself up to dating. And it's going to be like you feel strongly like, wow, I because some of you, well, I'll say some of you, it, it could go vice versa. Someone is feeling very strongly about the other person. And damn it, if this is a theme for this week, <laughs> I hope that this is not going to be the year of unrequited love. OK, because it's this energy for some of you of, you know, someone really is ready to settle down and they're serious and they're ready. And, you know, they feel like, OK, you seems like we get along. Yes, I see the connection here and it's flowing very nicely. It's effortless. It works for us. But someone, the other person really likes their own space and be able to move about as they like to. And they don't want to feel boggled down and have to be responsible for another. But as the week progresses, there's a there's a heavy decision like, you know, where do we go from here? And it's kind of like and you know how like you think back to like, yeah, I, was, I remember I was dating that person and it was going well. What happened to make? Why didn't that work? And then your mind traces back to the time, the moment when things changed. For some of you, this is that moment. It's going to this is going to be the week of that moment where something just changed with you and this person. And it's like, well, what the hell? And you thought you guys or someone thought that this it was moving while the other person all along was not sure about anything serious and it ends it literally will just end okay again doesn't mean forever but something about a connection that was very strong for one person literally will disconnect and be the end for another person that's just what i see now um Couple Libras, okay, you couple Libras, I feel that you're working really hard and some of you are making sacrifices because you need to move. Some of you may be moving as a couple. Some of you may be moving like you need to um, change a situation, a dynamic in your relationship in order to become closer together, in order to get closer together, rather, you know. This is the same thing as a Leo reading. So some of you very well could be dealing with a Leo uh, because the emperor and the empress were was in their reading as well. And there's a need to 
I feel like someone's putting too much time and energy on work and money matters and not enough time and energy on the relationship. And so someone feels completely neglected in this relationship and almost feels as though they're in a relationship by themselves. Okay. And it's, it's kind of sad because the person that feels stuck and left in a relationship doesn't know how to get through to the other person that's leaving them leaving them in this relationship leaving them by themselves in a relationship meanwhile the other person is in a bad place too mourning the loss over a past situation can't necessarily get out of their head about something that they lost from their past their deep past and so it's almost like the two of you are slipping apart slipping away from one another Slowly but surely, there's a lot of intimate internal struggles that the two of you may be suffering that you're not communicating because, again, communication and decision making is the challenge this week. And I feel like people are operating off of a lower vibration, which means that they're not communicating. They're doing other things to kind of um, solve their problem. There's some hiding and sneaking and doing things under the radar and not necessarily being honest about a situation. Some of you could be planning your exit strategy, like I'm going to get out of this. I'm getting out of here. I'm not even going to tell the person I'm just going to get out. I'm leaving. It's over. I don't feel confident about this. There isn't any growth here. I haven't made a complete decision yet, but I'm getting my ducks in a row. Um, and then there is a huge change that kind of slowly but surely it comes out that something ends because something is ending. I keep saying that. And if there's a third party situation that make that something about a third party can completely end and be done and it come everything comes out or little by little it's not like boom it's like a little by little coming out and then a boom everything is out and something completely ends okay and if you're having an issue with your mate where there is a third party or this interference a third party could be someone's mother could be anything work could be anything it all slowly but surely it comes out. And then with that, there is an understanding of what you need to do. How do you move forward? How do you fix this? Or if there is to be a fix, what now do we do? So in the extended, we look deeper past this week, past this month, and we find out what's going to go on between the two of you. We also look at you single Libras and find out, you know, what's happening in your love life as well. All the details of what we focus on, it once again, is in the description box below. Click on that link so we can finish this up and dive deeper. If you would like something personal with me, click the link to my website and set something up for yourself. I would love to hear from you. So if you like to comment, do so in the comment section below. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back, of course, very soon with another one. Take care. Libra.